Hey fellas, uh, I thought I'd come back and show you something. We've been playing with our speeds and feeds. And here we are, we're cutting 30 inches a minute. 30,000 step over with a four flute. Make sure carbide uh, end mill is only a three eight. And it is flat hull and butt. Uh, we got a little squall there. And you can see the tips are just a little bit of a gold color. Watch this machine when we uh, start this next hole. I might have missed it in the video. Oh well. But it, it still, when it does that beginning uh, takeoff there, it flat shakes the mill around a little bit. Um, we have flat run, well this is our fourth part tonight. We've been steady going, drilling, machining out the holes, the contours. It has flat been busy, and the clear pass servos have not uh, gave up uh, anything tonight. They have stayed right there. They have done everything we've asked tonight. The only one that's a little bit warm is the Z height, the height there on the Z axis. But. Uh, it has been steady running uh, on this end mill. It's flat flying. It seems like the more we mess with the speeds and feeds, the better off that we're getting. So we did cut these out in two steps of depth to get all of it. a little bit of air there but we figured we'd take out all we could with the drill bit cycle so looks like we're running about uh, 20 probably right close to 3,000 2750 to 3,000 rpm on the spindle we're running uh, 80 hertz with the with it basically on 2200 up here we're moving right along. Alright, well anyway, it was just a quick update. I wanted to show you guys uh, how we ended up doing these holes and a lot faster at it. Uh, basically, every one of the adaptive uh, strategies that we've done is about 10 minutes now. The one to do the outside contour, the one to do the holes. Uh, definitely a lot faster process. So, Alright, well, talk to you guys later. Bye.